Welcome to a new Team CGC 9.8 video and today I wanted to talk about Batman the Killing Joke and you know it's such an affordable issue and such a great sort of entry level investment grade issue um, but I think right now there are a few things in pop culture that are about to happen or are going to happen that could affect the value of the comic um, so I think you know right now it's a good time to talk strategy, think about a plan uh, going into some of these events and I always like to do that even if I don't really have any sort of action planned uh, you know for kind of said pop culture event I just like to think about the strategy of the book so uh, you know you're totally prepared for any market conditions and you know especially if you want to buy or sell um, then you know this video could be even more important to you because personally I don't think I'm looking to like buy or, s or sell uh, Batman the Killing Joke so it's just more of an exercise to um, you know think about strategy going into some of these uh, pop culture events. Uh, so um, Batman the Killing Joke, of course, um, you've got uh, you know Joker, Joker cripples Barbara Gordon and breaks her back. Um, one of the sort of first um, you know risque R-rated graphic novels, I would say. Um, and you know you got Alan Moore who did. Um, the story in Killing Joke and did The Watchmen and V for Vendetta. Um, also did some Swamp Thing as well. So yeah, really, and and you know that's uh, sort of the thing with this issue is that you know people really love the story and you know it being kind of R-rated and and you know super uh, edgy. Uh, certainly for its time back uh, this is coming out in 1988. Uh, so this one here it is the first print. And that's kind of what we'll discuss here. CGC 9.8 white pages, the first print, um, is definitely, you know, the killing joke that you want to get if, uh, you know, you're looking at kind of an investment grade book. Um, yeah, the first prints are definitely the ones that the collectors want. Usually you could tell because this is green here. Um, and the second and third prints are like pink and uh, different colors. But, um, so getting into some of these pop culture events that I was talking about, there's two kind of you know, one sort of large pop culture event, one kind of uh, an event sort of happening within the community that relates to The Killing Joke. So the first one being, obviously in October, the Joker movie is coming out. And um, now, just to sort of preface this, about, I think yesterday or the day before it actually was, um, I read an article where the Joker movie now has no comic book origin to it. Uh, basically, the director and the writer they just thought of Joker as a person and said, you know, how could a person like Joker come about? And then they sort of wrote their own story. So that sort of squashes any sort of whispering and rumors about, you know, the killing joke being, um, you know, sort of referenced throughout the movie because initially that was somewhat uh, of the chatter because the killing joke is kind of an origin story. It shows, you know, Joker kind of getting screwed over by the underworld and um, some of the you know the the boss underworld crime lords and then you know that after that happening and um, you, you know he kind of obviously uh, turns evil and, and villainous uh, so a bit of an origin story the killing joke and um, there was some rumblings that this could be in the movie but yes as of yesterday I don't think that's gonna happen but there's always like you know, what I sort of envision that could happen is, you know, maybe in the Joker movie, yeah, this story won't be about the Joker, but, you know, maybe they'll have him, I don't know, on a pier or something looking out over the ocean with this camera, like taking a picture or something. So it's like, a, you know, a comic reference, even though they're not using the story of it, but they just have a reference, like maybe he'll be holding a cool camera sideways and that would just, I think those kind of cool comic references sometimes happen in movies. Um, and yeah, with the Joker, you know, obviously this announcement just coming out that it's not a comic book story. They could still do something like that. That's cool. And this is a very prominent, just anyone who loves the Joker will go out and sort of pick up, you know, a killing joke, right? So the Joker movie coming out in October is the first, um, sort of pop culture event that, uh, I referenced and, and want to talk about and you know how it's going to affect this issue in price because I think around that movie this type of issue will be affected and what I mean by type of issue is a Joker cover a very prominent popular Joker uh, 
comic book. So that could be any of them, you know, I'm, I'm thinking even like Batman 366 Joker cover, Batman 251, the classic Neil Adams Joker. I think in October, and leading up to the movie hype, maybe a little bit before October, those will get really hot. Um, so yeah, if, if we're you know talking buying strategy for this book, I probably wouldn't be looking to buy during that time. So let's say late September and all through October. Um, so obviously the time to buy could be now. And another thing that's happening though in sort of a, a, a smaller thing I would say uh, within the community is um, uh, Deceased number four is coming out next month and that is a Killing Joke homage cover and just from the reaction I've seen from the community so far everyone's really loving it it's, it looks very similar to this very similar um, the uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's Joker holding the camera but it's a skeleton type Joker holding the camera looks really cool um, I think out of some of the deceased covers so far, this is definitely the best one. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out online, you know, deceased number four, uh, Killing Joe cover homage. I think it just sort of uh, leaked out in the past couple days. So I think even that is going to keep this issue pretty much sort of in the pop culture swing of things um, within, maybe not right now, but next month certainly with those cover homages, a lot of times the actual, you know, original comic of the cover homages can get really hot. Uh, so yeah, two things that are kind of concerning me um, in the next couple months here about Killing Joke that you could be getting inflated prices for when you're buying a Killing Joke. And um, you know, just looking on the CGC census for Killing Joke, um, there are 2,589 killing jokes in the 9.8 white pages. Or not in the white pages, though. some could be off-white to white. Um, so in the 9.8, 2,589 of them. That's quite a lot for a 1988 comic. Um, and, you know, the CGC 9.8 ratio is 45%. So 45% of all graded killing jokes are 9.8. So almost half of them are all 9.8s. So on the census, I gotta say, like, you know, for an 88, 1988 book, it doesn't really look that good on the census, to be honest. And this sort of is the reason why I think it's a, you know, an entry-level affordable Batman uh, book. Um, certainly because it's so cool and it's a, you know, Joker's has such a cult following. I do still think it's like an investment-grade book in the uh, 9.8 white pages. But, um, yeah, there's, it doesn't really look good that good on the census compared to some other books and with those two pop culture events kind of stirring up the hype a little bit for Joker I'm a little bit worried about paying more than you have to for this book because there's so many out there again 2,589 so there's always going to be a couple of these popping up every month for uh, auction I would say at least one or two a month and I'm sure some months like maybe even three or four pop up uh, if you're lucky so I don't think there's any reason to rush out and, and buy a Killing Joke. There's just too many of them. It's not rare on the census. Um, so you just don't want to overpay for like a book that's not even really rare. Because, you know, next month another one's going to come in like a fire sale auction that you could probably get a really good deal on. So, yeah, the Killing Joke, I'm not going to say not do not do not buy it in the next, you know, three, four months. I think... You know, obviously right now that Deceased cover has not come out yet, and I think only sort of people that are really following it or know someone within the community that told them about it even know about it now. So I think right now you could probably pick away and find a Killing Joke for a decent price. You know, if a weekly auction, a fire sale type auction comes up, that's the way I'd recommend to go. You know, those one week kind of eBay auctions rather than a buy it now which is you're almost guaranteed to kind of get a full retail price if you're just buying a buy it now. So yeah, if, if you really love Joker and you really want a Killing Joke, I think you could pick away here. But, you know, come late September, early October, I, I wouldn't because I think, you know, by then the Joker movie is going to have a lot more advertising and you're just going to have those like animal spirits of October where um, you know, everything Halloween is cool, everything Joker and villainous is really cool. So I think, in general, if 
you're going to buy this around the Joker movie, you're probably end up going to pay about 10 or 20 percent more uh, than you would if you know, maybe if you get lucky here in the next couple weeks and find a one-week auction, you, you, you could still um, grab one. But, I mean, for me, because I am kind of a, a CGC census watcher, I like to watch the census and kind of get my cues from that for sort of investment-grade books, um, I do sort of recommend actually another book here that I got um, that is looking a little bit better on the census and is actually cheaper. So that is kind of two really cool things and there's no sort of pop culture event coming up in the in the short term uh, to sort of affect the book and the other book I'm talking about is Batman number 404 which is a year one part one so really cool cover and uh, this is also the first modern Catwoman kind of lesser known uh, some people don't even know that but it is the first appearance of modern Catwoman in this and um, yeah, Year One Part One, um, such a cool cover, such you know, classic Frank Miller story too, so a really cool read as well, probably even a cooler read, personally in my opinion, than The Killing Joke, even though The Killing Joke is kind of rated R and cool, but uh, lots of cool things to like about this issue, but you know, in the next four or five, four or five months, there's you know, obviously no Year One movie coming out or anything like that in the next four or five months, unlike you know, a Joker movie coming out in the next four or five months. Uh, so y you can sort of feel, you know, feel a little bit better and feel safer about paying a sort of normal price if you get it on an auction. It's not going to be an inflated price. Um, and looking on the CGC census, Batman 404 is looking better than The Killing Joke. And we could do a little bit of comparison here. So for The Killing Joke, there were 2,589 of them. For Batman 404, there are 528 of them. So one of 528, one of 2,589. So that's the first reason why I like Batman a little bit, Batman 404 a little bit more than Killing Joke in this environment. Um, of all graded Batman 404s, 28% are 9.8s, whereas of all graded Killing Jokes, 45% are all 9.8s. So this is just more rare in general. Um, even though it's not, even 28 is not even that much of a favorable ratio uh, for being like super rare or hard to find. But 45% is even worse. Um, so, and you know, this book being, being made in 87, this one being in 88, they're pretty even that way. So, um, you know, even that is kind of, you know, it's not, uh, it's not hard to explain away the sort of why there's so many killing jokes. And I think it just goes down to killing jokes, so popular. Um, people right from the bat really loved it, really in the 80s, that sort of uh, R-rated uh, type graphic novel was a big hit. So right from the beginning, people were grading them, keeping them in really good condition, um, and that's why there are so many. This issue a little bit less so, um, and yeah, so w within the next few months we have two kind of pop culture events with the killing joke that are possibly inflating prices. Um, nothing going on with Batman Year One right now, although I did do a video where the new The Batman movie is coming out probably late next year, I would say, maybe uh, even the next year after that. Um, but Robert Pattinson being so young, I was thinking, you know, maybe it could be a Year One sort of tie-in or um, some elements of Year One possibly where, you know, maybe he's kind of learning to be a good Batman. Um, but, you know, and you're hearing some of these whispers about how there's going to be like five or ten villains in it though, so that's not really year one, so I wouldn't even say that, you know, there's going to be any direct hype about this issue from the next Batman movie, but it's possible. So, you know, that's not going to happen for at least a year, year and a half. So, I think this issue, you could be super, um, you could be super fine knowing that you're going to be paying a normal price, a non-inflated price. You're not going to have a lot of noobs coming in the market, you know, paying inflated prices and pushing the issue up. And it looks better on the census. And it's probably a little bit cheaper, kind of depending on where you buy. Um, so, you know, the killing for prices on both of these, the killing joke. Um, you know, I would say $175 US for The Killing Joke is about an average um, normal price. Uh, 
you know, some t obviously sometimes you see some go for two, maybe in a fire sale auction from like a not as popular seller, maybe for 150-ish. Um, whereas this issue, um, a friend of mine on uh, Twitter actually grabbed one, I believe it was for about 100 bucks, maybe even a little bit less than 100 bucks American. Um, but I've seen these go on an auction from like quite pretty popular sellers for like 125 American in a fire sale auction. So a little bit cheaper than the Killing Joke. There's less of them on the CGC census, 528 to 2,589. So it's less one, you know, you're getting a one of 528 with this one. And then again, you know, with the Killing Joke and those two, you know, the cover homage coming up next month, and then in October, the Joker movie, I think there are, you know, a couple Joker fanatics kind of coming out of the woodwork and possibly pushing up the prices of the Killing Joke right now. So, my recommendation would be, overall right now, I mean, if you're super dead set on buying a Killing Joke, you might have a couple weeks here where you could find one, so I, I'd do that. Um, if not, I would wait until the Joker movie kind of clears through, maybe till Christmas, even into the new year, and then look at buying a Killing Joke at that time. Um, whereas, if you wanted to buy a really cool Batman, CGC 9.8 right now, I totally recommend Batman 404. Because, uh, you know, nothing's really inflating Batman 404 at this time. And uh, I think it's a really cool cover. You get that first modern Catwoman too, which I think now that Batman's kind of married Selena Kyle, like that's probably going to become an even bigger deal as well. So that's kind of a, you know, something that, a catalyst that could happen uh, further down the road. And, uh, yeah, I mean, year one, year, it's, year, there's less copies in the 9.8, and in general I've seen it go for less money than The Killing Joke. So I think uh, with those two together, yeah, I would say, you know, buy Batman 404 now, and maybe wait until the new year next year for the Joker hype to just completely subside, and then start looking for deals in, in The Killing Joke. That's pretty much what I'd recommend. Or, you know, right now you maybe can grab a Killing Joke before the hype starts to pick up. So, yeah, I just uh, was thinking about, you know, what, uh, a couple movies coming up in a, some pop culture events and what could, I could compare to some of the older issues that I had. And uh, obviously with the Joker movie coming out and I saw that deceased number four cover of the uh, Killing Joke uh, cover homage. So there's kind of two things coming up that could affect it. Uh, so again, always good to just kind of go over some strategy, uh, even if you might not even have to sell your issues, I think. Um, you know, whenever I see some pop culture events that relate to some issues I have, I'm always like, okay, you know, what could I do? What could I do? And I think it's a good exercise because, you know, for me, it's going to be about 10 or 15 years, hopefully, before I even think of selling my collection. And by then, I would have done this exercise in my head like 500 times, just, you know, for whatever movies or whatever issues. And when I do go end up just selling them, I'm going to have a lot better uh, idea of, you know, the environments that I could get the best price for uh, my, my uh, CGC 9.8 comics. Okay, well, uh, thanks so much for watching today, guys. Um, yeah, so happy to kind of share my collection with you. And Batman issues are my favorite. Like, yeah, Batman is, I find, you know, in the CGC 9.8s, they're a little bit less money than Spider-Man issues, but just as cool. So, always recommend uh, Batman CGC 9.8s. And uh, I got another video I, I did on kind of 1980s Batman key issues, and I got a lot of them, and I, I really like that area for collecting. So, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please join the team. Subscribe here to Team CGC 9.8, and uh, hit that bell, because, yeah, kind of on a roll here with videos, doing maybe five or six a week uh, at this point. Uh, so, hit that bell, you'll get all the notifications for you. Um, make sure you don't miss videos. Thanks again though for watching uh, and I will see you on the next video.